Small drones have become a serious threat on the modern battlefield, used not just for surveillance, but for attacks on armored vehicles, supply lines, and even radar systems. In response, militaries around the world have rushed to develop counter-drone technologies that are fast, scalable, and easy to deploy. One of the most widely fielded systems in the U.S. arsenal is the Coyote Interceptor, developed by Raytheon. Originally designed as a low-cost reconnaissance drone, the Coyote has since evolved into a dedicated counter-UAS platform used by the U.S. Army, deployed in combat, and now entering international production. So, in today's video, we're taking a closer look at the Coyote counter-drone system, how it works, where it's been used, and what its future looks like in a world where drone warfare is only accelerating. Let's dive in. The Coyote is a compact tube-launch drone interceptor designed by Raytheon, a division of RTX. While it originated as a surveillance platform, its evolution into a counter-unmanned aerial system, known as CUAS, has redefined its role entirely. It now serves as a frontline solution for neutralizing hostile drones, particularly those used in low-cost saturation attacks. At its core, the Coyote is designed to be agile, modular, and cheap enough to deploy in volume. It's small enough to be carried in a backpack or loaded into launch tubes mounted on vehicles, trailers, or ship decks. Once airborne, it uses advanced onboard sensors, radar feeds, and proximity fuses to intercept and destroy enemy drones mid-flight. The key appeal of Coyote is that it doesn't rely on jamming or soft-kill tactics, but instead, it engages threats directly and physically, with real-time tracking and precision-guided maneuvering. Raytheon began development of the original Coyote system in the early 2010s with its first generation, the Coyote Block 1, intended for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. It could loiter for extended periods and was tested for weather monitoring and forward observation roles. However, as drone threats evolved, especially with the emergence of cheap disposable attack UAVs in the Middle East, the Pentagon's priorities shifted. In 2018, Raytheon began adapting the Coyote for kinetic counter UAS missions. The result was the Block 2 variant, which traded loiter time for high-speed engagement capability. The transformation included significant upgrades, an improved solid rocket motor for faster launches, enhanced maneuverability to track and close on fast-moving targets, and upgraded sensors including radar and infrared for mid-air target discrimination. It also integrated with the Ku-band Radio Frequency System, or QRFS, a mobile radar system designed to detect small, low-flying objects with high accuracy. These advances culminated in a system that could be rapidly deployed at forward operating bases, airfields, or urban infrastructure sites threatened by drone attacks. In 2023, Raytheon introduced the latest version, the Coyote Block 3, also known as the Coyote LESR, standing for Low Cost Expandable Small Range. This variant features improved software, greater maneuverability, and modular architecture for future payloads, including electronic warfare packages or more advanced seeker heads. The latest versions of the Coyote Interceptor measure just over 1.3 meters in length and weigh approximately 6.8 kilograms. Its solid propellant rocket motor enables launch speeds approaching Mach 0.9, giving it enough velocity to catch up to and destroy small UAVs before they can complete their mission. Once airborne, the Coyote can engage targets within a radius of roughly 10 kilometers, depending on altitude and launch configuration. Guidance is provided by a combination of internal sensors and external targeting data, primarily from QRFS or similar surveillance radars. The interceptor can use either a direct hit kinetic kill method or detonate a small warhead via proximity fuse when closing in on its target. The Block 3 version 
has also been designed with greater autonomy, allowing it to engage targets even in environments with heavy electronic jamming or communication disruption. It can operate in swarm scenarios, where multiple coyotes are launched in coordination to counter large-scale drone attacks. What sets the Coyote apart from many other counter UAS systems is its full kill chain capability. It doesn't just detect or disable a drone. It actively pursues, tracks, and eliminates it with a dedicated interceptor, making it ideal for defending air bases, forward operating points, or high-value installations under persistent drone threat. The U.S. Army began deploying Coyote Block 2 systems in 2020 as part of its Indirect Fire Protection Capability Initiative, aimed at defending against rockets, artillery, and drones. The platform has since been used in real-world deployments in CENTCOM's area of operations, particularly in the Middle East, where drone attacks from non-state actors have become increasingly common. In 2021, the Coyote successfully intercepted multiple drone targets in live fire tests, simulating swarm attacks. These demonstrations underscored the interceptor's readiness and solidified its position within the Pentagon's multi-layered air defense strategy. Beyond the U.S., interest in the system has grown significantly. In April 2025, Raytheon signed a major agreement with the United Arab Emirates Tawazun Council to begin localized production of the Coyote system on Emirati soil. The deal marks a major milestone in counter-drone cooperation between a U.S. defense firm and a Gulf state. It also reflects the urgency with which countries like the UAE are treating drone threats, particularly given escalating regional tensions and the increasing availability of cheap attack platforms. This agreement will allow faster deployment of Coyote systems across the region and potentially support export to neighboring countries. It positions the UAE not only as an operator, but as a strategic hub for counter UAS technologies in the Middle East. Raytheon continues to iterate on the Coyote platform. The Block 3 version is already in limited service, and future developments could include longer range variants, enhanced autonomous targeting, and payload versatility for missions beyond drone interception. The company has also hinted at integration with other emerging technologies, like directed energy weapons or AI-driven radar, to form complete defensive networks that can detect, track, and neutralize drone threats at scale. With drone attacks becoming more frequent, more sophisticated, and harder to predict, systems like Coyote offer a scalable solution that doesn't rely on massive infrastructure or prohibitively high costs. The upcoming years are likely to see the Coyote family expand, particularly in export markets, modular upgrades, and integration with wider defense ecosystems. Whether on U.S. bases abroad or protecting infrastructure in the Gulf, the Coyote is fast becoming a staple of modern counter-drone strategy. So, what do you think? Are systems like Raytheon's Coyote the future of close-range air defense? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth defense news and analysis.